Hi, everyone. My name is Miranda Ward with the Valuable Voices podcast. I'm so excited to have my friend Daniela here today. She and I met in a working moms group. I was thinking, gosh, it's probably been 10 or 12 years ago for me at least. And it was just such a valuable group for me. And I know for her too, just there's something special about working moms. You just have that bond and you just kind of need that community and just to know that you're not alone and just to kind of talk through things. So I'm grateful for you, Daniela. Since then, she's moved from Chicago, so I don't get to see her as much, but I get to see her online. So thanks for joining today, girl. I'm glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, and we connected recently. Um, I was doing a Follow Your Heart Challenge, and I just love what she shared about meditation. So I don't do it enough. And I know she was saying, Daniela, you did it like every day, which I love that. I mean, I have quiet time and I'm trying to get better at that, but I just want to share with people, you know, how you got into it and then what the benefits are and whatever you feel like sharing. I just think it's such a valuable tool and I don't yeah. think enough of us know enough or we have preconceived notion of what it should look like. I love how you talked about that. So how'd you get into it? What made you kind of, you know, dive into and look into meditation? Thank you. Well, it all started with a normal life, a working mom that was working 40 plus hours a week, traveling, raising little kids. And my body started showing signs of stress, uh, obviously gaining weight, uh, you know, like hair loss. The, the biggest thing or the, the biggest red flag was that my arms will start to feel numb. And that to me was like a, a really big red flag. And talking to my brother, he was like, you know, I think it's stress. He's a doctor. So he's like, it's stress. And at first I was like, no, I have a good life. Yeah. You know, I have a family, I have a job, I have a house. Like, what do you mean stress? Stress is something for people who have maybe lost a loved one or are facing a health issue. Like to me, it was like, this is just life. I can't right. be stressed about this. Um, but he really insisted and he's like, no, I think you need to make some changes in your life and you know, just take care of yourself. So <laughs> at the time I joined a health coaching program with uh, a friend, an old, an old friend and it was really just to look at my habits like eating sleeping just trying to support me in other ways so that i could bring the stress down and she suggested meditation amongst many many other things that we did and at first i was like i don't have time to sit down and do nothing yeah and she's like no 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 but you don't understand like so she she would give me examples or send me videos but i could just never connect i felt that it was something very far from where I was at the time. I felt that they were very long. I'm like, I don't have 45 minutes. And if I have 45 minutes, I don't want to spend them sitting here breathing. Like there are so many other things that I can be doing. Um, so it was hard. It took me a while. That was probably the hardest. I, I had a lot of resistance, to be honest, now looking back. Um, eventually I found some videos that were like, okay, a five minute meditation. I'm like, okay, five minutes I can do. Um, and it really just showed me that it has to be simple. It doesn't have to be a 45, a th even a 30 minute. It doesn't have to be the perfect setup with, you know, the white room with the candles. Yeah, that would be amazing. But in reality, I'm a mom. I'm yeah. running around. All my rooms are messy. All my rooms <laughs> have something in them. So it was just, for me, the biggest thing was understanding that I need to make this tool work for me yeah. in my life today. Um, so I started with that. I started just doing small guided meditations. I came across an app called Insight Timer that I love. I still use it to this day. And this was four years ago, this whole story that I'm, that wow. I'm sharing. Yeah. So I came across that app and I liked it because you can do fine meditations by time. So if I said right now, I only have less than five minutes then I could sort by, by time. Mm -hmm. um, if I didn't want to engage in a guided meditation, I could find music 
and you know it can, it was like ocean waves or you know like and like little bursts chirping yeah. or whatever like a guitar so it was just sounds that i found very relaxing so i could use that as well and um and that's how i started and a few months after i was like okay i think i'm getting the hang of it i want to learn more about it so i did a certification i i studied for four months a very intensive uh, training to become a te uh, meditation teacher, facilitator, or coach. But really, at the beginning, it was for me. It was like, yeah. I want to learn more about the school. I, and I felt that I wanted to incorporate the habit. And to right. me, the habit is like brushing my teeth. It's every day. You don't question it. It doesn't matter where you are, if you're in your house, if you're traveling, if you're camping, you always brush your teeth. Right. So, that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted it to be a part of my life. And I, and I felt that if I studied it more in depth, that I could really incorporate it. So yeah. I have been meditating daily for three years now. That's amazing. And the other thing is my definition is very broad because I wanted to set up myself for success. And I didn't want to say, well, my goal is to meditate. 40 minutes every day because I right. know that that's not possible in, in my life today. So my, my definition is very, very broad. Some days my meditation is a, a breathing, just a conscious breathing for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Sometimes it's sitting in silence. Sometimes it's a guided meditation, you know, for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it's a class, like if I go to my yoga studio and they're doing a uh, meditation classes, sometimes it is an hour where I'm right. sitting, you know, in silence or in different types of exercise. Sometimes it's active, sometimes it's um, a prayer. It, it just, for me, it really has a lot, of, a lot of different forms. And I feel like that keeps me excited to learn more different styles and types of meditations. And it really makes it attainable where I feel, I feel the effect is cumulative. So if I meditate today for five minutes, it adds on. And then tomorrow it's 10. And then maybe the next day is one minute and so on. But it adds up. Yeah. So I never, feel, I, I never feel like it's not enough or it's not good enough because I'm like, no, it's adding up to the three years that I've been doing it. I love that. Wow. You had so many good nuggets there. I feel like, first of all, just making it work for you, right? And not worrying what it looks like for anybody else. Yeah. And I love that cumulative because we think about with everything, right? With eating, with exercise, it's all the things. It's like, just do a little bit today. And so what would you say after doing that for three years, what would you say is the biggest difference you see? Less I stress think or... Yes. Well, definitely the stress. I think what, what happens is I, it allows me, like whether it's when I'm sitting in silence or if I'm doing a, a visualization, which is a type that guides you through imagine, using your imagination to achieve uh, a certain goal or a certain state of being or mind. Yeah. I think it's that space that creates between me and what is happening in front of me. To me, right. that's the biggest thing. And, and, and the way that I, right now today with everything, with the situation that we're living and the schooling and the distance learning or whatever, um, and the holidays, which are also an added layer yeah. of stress, yeah. uh, whether it is financial, um, emotional, for all the things that we can do this year, um, even even just the to do right you have like a lot more to do than in a normal time so creating that space that allows me to not react based on the stress that i'm feeling or the mental you know clutter but it really allows me to almost like separate myself from what is happening and being able to show up to that situation yeah. in a kind with a kind version of myself or with a right. kinder version of myself. So whether it is for my kids, my husband, my neighbors or, or, or myself. Yeah. So I think that's, uh, that's what I benefit from the most today. Awesome. Do you do it the same time every day or again, just whenever you think about it, you know, 
I try to do it in the morning. I like how it sets up the day. So I have like my morning routine. I like wake up, I say my prayers. And then I try to put in a meditation. Right now, I am doing a lot more focusing on motherhood just because I feel that's, that's an area that needs some attention right now. So I'll try to start a meditation, whether it is um, using like a loving kindness technique for yeah. my kids or for myself or doing like a gratitude exercise, you know, and the things that I appreciate about each one of my kids. And it's just like, it's very simple. We can actually try it at the end if you want. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, I think it would be fun. So I try to do it in the morning, but again, if I can't, I don't yeah. sweat it. Right. I, I just know that I need to find a minute or two mm -hmm. to sit down, to center. Um, like one of the hardest energy wise, like a, a level of energy for me is the bedtime routine. Yeah. If I feel like at that point I am done. I, I have right. nothing left. Right. So it's very hard and it really, it's an opportunity to present a version of myself that's not the most pleasant. Right. So I try to say, okay, dinner's ready. They're finishing. They're doing whatever reading or whatever. I need five minutes to just fill up again yeah. of energy and love and calmness and, and just so that I can finish the day with them, with my kids in a in a nice way you know right and your husband travels a week at a time right still or not so yeah. you're a single mom um, for a week right yeah, so yes. i can't imagine and what a cool lesson or tool you're even teaching the kids sometimes we just need a time out for ourselves and that's okay you know to disconnect yeah. <laughs> and they're yeah. watching you so that's great i love you know for three years i mean that's such an accomplishment right i mean Again, whatever that looks like for you, even if it's just breathing, because I know some days I just need to breathe, <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Yes. Um, you know, were you like tracking that or were you just, I mean, just to say three years, you know, I've done many habits and I've stopped and I've started and I've stopped. So yes. again, what keeps you consistent and, and did you track that? I do. Yeah, that's a great question. Actually, I, I was doing before the three years. I was like on and off and I would do it for because sometimes the app if you use an app they track for you yeah so it tells you you've been meditating for 10 days you've been meditating for so many minutes so yeah. that is that is a good way to keep you engaged but sometimes okay. I didn't want to do the app yeah the, the meditation on the app I was going to do my own thing so I actually started a note on my phone cool and I put the date and then I put what meditation and if there were any notes like i really liked this it was something yeah. for me, or this one felt like i needed more just not like a journal because it's yeah. not as in-depth but sure. just a quick note so i have i have uh 2018 wow 2019 2020 that's awesome i might have some of 2017 as well so that's awesome yeah you and can even do it on a calendar or on your planner, just like a little check, you know, because I think just like kids, like that little sticker chart, <laughs> just to see the progress. Yeah. And helpful. it also helps me because sometimes, let's say last night, I went in there and I was like, oh, I didn't track two days. Like, I know I did some breath right. work, but it wasn't like, and it's the weekend. So it makes mm -hmm. sense because it's when, um, you know, more engaged with other things with the family. So it also helps me see if I have any gaps and just go back and say, okay, what happened here? Why did I, you know, let it go for a couple of days? So definitely the that. tracking. I like it. Yeah. So good. Are you with, are you like that with everything you do? You know, like, are you like that with food or exercise or, you know, whatever other goals and habits you have? I'm just curious. If I, if it's something that I'm trying to establish, like I did it with the working out for a long time. I, I did it for two years because yeah. it was a new habit for me. Yeah. Um, I do feel like it worked. I do feel yeah. like it works for me to just yeah. know that I'm there. And like I said, go back and be like, oh, I haven't done whatever yoga in right. week. like what happened. If it's something that I enjoy and I know it's good for me. Yes, so, that's good. I've also heard of like, tying a habit, right? So don't brush your teeth until you do the meditation, right? So that's kind of a fun thing to do too. 
yes. something you want to do or have to do or don't want to do tied to something you, I guess you have to do or you, you want to, you know what I mean? You know, I think you know what I mean, but yeah. awesome. Well, yeah, will you walk us through a quick one? I, I love your, oh, I'm just looking forward to it because I think I can always breathe deep. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. So let, I, I, want, I want to do, uh, a, it's a visualization as a type of meditation and just to fill us up with like energy and, and calmness for the holiday season. I think that would be good. Perfect. Thank you. So you just sit comfortably wherever you are. I'm going to move my chair a little. Um, if you're sitting, just have your back straight. If, if you try not to lean or wherever you are, if you can like actually engage your core and sit up a little, um, your hands can be on your legs and your shoulders just relax. They, they don't have to be anything special. Um, your head and your neck, we want to open the air to so make sure that you're not overextended, but just a neutral, comfortable, open position. And I personally love closing my eyes I feel like it removes like 80% 80 of the distractions. So if you feel comfortable closing your eyes, do that as well. And we're going to start just taking a deep breath, inhaling and letting everything out through your mouth. Just let go of anything that's on your mind, on your to-do list, that will be there waiting for you later. Right now is a moment for yourself. And you're going to keep breathing, bringing your attention to the air as it comes in through your nose. And see if you can feel the temperature, the sensation of the air. And we are going to visualize a bright, warm light in your heart. And it can be any color. And with each breath, the light shines bigger and brighter. This light expands all over your body. And it creates a bubble around you that covers you and with each breath this light continues to expand and shine brighter now imagine that this light that started in your heart expands to cover all the people that you love the most. Your spouse, your children, your parents, your siblings, your friends, your neighbors. And take that light and expand it to reach everyone that you love. And feel how this light, it's filled with love and connection and compassion and warmth. And stay there for a few breaths.
and slowly begin to bring all the light back to you, knowing that all the love that you feel for them is there with them. Continue breathing and bring all your light back to you all the way to your heart. And that light and that love goes with you all the time. So now let's do two deep breaths, inhaling through your nose, holding the breath and exhaling. And one more time, inhale, hold and exhale. You can start wiggling your toes and your fingers, moving your arms, your shoulders, your neck. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes. Oh, that was wonderful. I love that. Thank and just whatever that was, five minutes, right? That's all you need sometimes. So yes. So good. Even in a, I feel like you could even do that in a shopping line or in your car or at a stoplight, right? <laughs> Anywhere. Yes, absolutely. Actually, that is one of the things that I like the most. This is a technique that goes with you because as long as you can breathe, you can do it. If you're waiting in the car, if you are driving, like you said, obviously you can't close your eyes. Yeah. If you're traveling, I did it. I mean, I know this year is probably, you know, not big on travel, but uh, when we used to travel, I would do it all the time in the car and taxi and the train and the in the plane. It's just yeah. it just centers you. And and the part that I like with the visualization technique, which is what we just did, is using our imagination. Is you can take it anywhere you want, and you can yeah. really use it for any purpose that your life needs. So if you're, I love visualizations. I yes. love that. Yeah. It, use your imagination of how you want your life to look or your day to look or your weekend to look or your holiday to look. Right. I love that. Yes. Thank you so much. I could see you on insight timer someday. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> Such a relaxing voice. So peaceful. Thank you. Thank awesome. you for sharing this space with me. I love wow. it. And I love everything that you're doing. Thank you, girl. Yeah, thanks for jumping on again. Just keep going. I love seeing you do what you love. So if you guys know anybody else that has a valuable voice, which I believe everybody does and has a story to share, you know, let them know I am looking for people. I just love hearing people's story. And again, what 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 sets your soul on fire? There's something inside you. So thank you so much, Daniela. Have a great day and a great holiday. Thank you, Miranda. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.